Local election headquarters. The entire country watching Kansas and Missouri tonight as both states hold our primary elections. Yeah, Kansas voters the first to vote on an abortion related ballot measure since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. And frankly, that ruling proved energizing for Kansans who did not want the state constitutional right to an abortion to be undone by the amendment. It was a state court, uh, Supreme Court ruling that put that in place. The Amendment itself would not ban abortion, but it would have set the stage for legislative oversight. Many believe this would be a very close race, watched until late at night, but it wasn't even close. Uh, most of the urban counties overwhelmingly went uh, no, and uh, even some of the smaller counties, but uh, just not enough yes votes in uh, the rural parts of the state to overcome that overwhelming no vote. Uh, the amendment campaign itself proving very expensive, about $11 million dollars came into the state, including $850,000 for the YES campaign from the Archdiocese of Kansas City in Kansas. We have reporters with supporters of both sides of the amendment issue. Let's get first to Reagan Porter, who is with the Value Them Both Coalition. A much smaller and sadder scene here in Overland Park than when we checked in with you at 9 o'clock. We did have about 100, more than 100 people here earlier. Now, just 50 people or so. All of these people were hoping more would vote yes and the amendment would pass. That obviously did not happen. But the Value Them Both team tells me they're proud of the work they put in, creating the largest grassroots movement in Kansas history, knocking on more than 270,000 doors. Kansas Senator Molly Baumgardner tells me there's still a need in regulating abortion in Kansas. In Kansas, we have a history where surgical instruments for abortions were cleaned in dishwashers, not in surgical autoclaves, where floors were carpeted, which of course couldn't be sterilized, where minors were allowed to have abortions without parental consent. So the regulations that we have in our state are common sense, and they were put into place by the by a bipartisan legislature and signed into law. The Value Them Both team just finished speaking on stage. They said the other side perpetuated a lie and they were successful. They also said this setback is not going to stop them from valuing the lives of mothers and babies. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you.